Welcome to LabVIEW Core 1. In this course, you will learn how to create an application that acquires data from hardware, analyzes and processes that data, and then visualizes and logs that data. Along the way, you'll develop, debug, and test LabVIEW programs. Additionally, you will learn best practices for code reusability and readability, as well as error management. And finally, you will develop an application that implements a sequencer using state diagram logic. To get started, you will need a computer running Windows, LabVIEW, the NI DACMX driver, and the NI Visa driver. You will also need the LabVIEW Core 1 exercise instructions and exercise files. The exercises in this course are based on hardware that you can simulate if you do not have access to physical devices. I'll walk you through the process of setting up your simulated hardware next. For this course, you will configure an NI PCI 6221 multifunction I.O. device, which interfaces with your PC using a BNC 2120 connector accessory. In this demonstration, we'll walk through the process of configuring the simulated hardware required to complete the course exercises. From the Start menu, open NI Max. In NI Max, click Devices and Interfaces and click the Create New button. In the Create New dialog box, select Simulated NI DACMX Device and click Finish. Expand the M-Series DAC and select the NI PCI 6221. Click on the newly created device and change the name in the Settings section. This course uses a variety of instructional methods. One of the best ways to learn LabVIEW is through the hands-on exercises. Keep these suggestions in mind as you work through the course exercises. Experiment with hands-on exercises to better understand the methods used. Complete the challenge, your turn, and putting it all together sections of the exercises. These sections have only high-level instructions and let you practice the skills you've learned. Explore the solutions. Keep in mind that these solutions provide one possible approach. You may find a better one. LabVIEW certification helps you validate and differentiate your LabVIEW development skills. NI offers three certification levels, Associate Developer, Developer, and Architect. LabVIEW Core 1 helps prepare you for the Certified LabVIEW Associate Developer exam. This course is organized in three main sections. The first lessons show you how to begin acquiring measurements from hardware. The next group of lessons shows you how to create an application that acquires, analyzes, visualizes, and logs data. In the reuse section, you learn best practices for code reuse and code readability. Finally, you learn how to put it all together to implement a sequencer for all the tasks in your application. This course also includes an additional module focusing on more detailed I.O. techniques.